Oh, hi, uh, Victor McCoy. Yep. How do you do, Victor? Just one second, we're about to roll here. And uh, I found you on Facebook. Um, so we're going. Okay. I'm, sp I'm speaking with Victor McCoy of Carbondale, Illinois, who is the pro tem sergeant of arms for the Carbondale chapter of the Greater Illinois chapter of the Tea Party Patriots and Sons. And thank you very much for joining us here today, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, so it's my pleasure. Uh, so um, do you believe uh, that uh, Sarah Palin should be the next president of the United States? Absolutely. Believe, uh, conceive, and, uh, and bereave the fact that she is not currently. Um, I'd vote for her over John McCain, to be quite honest with you. And uh, do you believe uh, that uh, your movement will uh, succeed in defeating uh, people like uh, the Senate leader, Harry Reid? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. I don't know if you uh, were able to... Uh, See on the uh, the uh, lamestream media left wing news, but because uh, uh, they didn't cover it very well, but there was a uh, Tea Party rally uh, at his hometown in uh, Nevada, uh, and he, you know we're gonna we're gonna we fully intend to camp out there and drive him out. You know if we have to do it at night under under the cover of darkness, we will, we will, we and will succeed. You can get, here's the difference. Uh, we have God on our side, okay? We have Christ. We have an army, God's army. We have angels, okay? So we, uh, and we have wisdom and sageness. Sa sageness as well as wisdom. That's right. They're, they're, they're split down. Part of we, we u utilize wisdom as well as sageness. Sometimes just wisdom, sometimes just sageness, and uh, sometimes a pinch of both. Well, I understand that a lot of your political positions are, are, are buttressed by firearms. Hey, don't, don't, uh, I, uh, that's one thing I won't tolerate. Don't, don't tell me what you know about what I know. I'll tell you what I know. I'll tell you what I believe. Don't tell me what I believe. Uh, okay? okay, I'm sorry, Mr. McCoy, but um, it, I've seen quite a lot of evidence on television that at political... Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yes? Are you... Are you Australian? Uh, You're I, not of this country. N no, but uh, but uh, I've I've have a, an American daughter who plans on being president of the United States, and and uh, <laughs> okay, I, yeah. Show show me a birth certificate. <laughs> I want to see your birth certificate. Okay. Right. I think it might have been uh, lost with uh, uh, Barack Obama's, um, but in any oh, case, his wasn't lost. His was his was made up in uh, some kinko somewhere. Well, uh, come on now. Well, uh, uh, Mr. McCoy, I, 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 I must. Were you from Canada? No, no, I'm. I I'm originally from from Australia, but I'm very much uh, an American uh, now after having lived here for thirty years. So uh, yeah, no, that don't count. Uh, that don't count. Well, unless I want to become president of the United States, but otherwise, there's, uh, as far as I know, there are no restrictions on me uh, in terms of my citizenship. Well, but, uh, you need to reread your citizenship pamphlet. Okay. And I believe there are restrictions. You have to take an oath. Right. Uh, you have to pass a test. Okay. You can't drive on the the left side of the street. Uh, there's all kinds of things. I, w I wondered why people were waving at me. Dollar bills too. Okay. I wondered why people were waving at me, and Mr. McCoy. I wondered why people were waving at me a lot when I was driving. Uh, I obviously been on on the wrong side of the street. But we digress well, here. They probably uh, realized he was a. a, a part of the lamestream left-wing liberal media. Well, actually, the part of the media that I belong to, we consider uh, the, the mainstream media conservative. So you really... That's one of y'all's tricks. That's <laughs> one of y'all's tricks, and I will not stand for it. Well... Uh, could I just, though, uh, mention the, the, the association that's, that's apparent from television coverage of the Tea Party movement, that a lot of uh, your members uh, carry firearms. Uh, do you carry them for... That's right. Pr proudly. Do you carry them proudly. for de defensive purposes or offensive purposes? See? Now, y'all's trying to get into my strategy. And I will... It, it, uh, it, it, let me ask you something, uh, Mr. Uh, Masters, uh, yeah. McManley. What, now, 
do you when you carry a, a gun? Uh, or flamethrower, or uh, you, you know, you, you're just maybe you're just running down to the store, so you just have a, a quick Molotov cocktail or what, what have you. What do you grab, you know, off of the the front uh, desk there by the door? Okay, you you don't go. Hey, I'm going to use this for uh, offensive or defensive purposes. You just use it. You have it in case. You have it for either situation. Okay, so don't try to pin me back and paint me in a corner and then uh, take away the, the brush, okay, and say, now get, get, find your way out of here, but you best take your shoes off or you're going to get paint all over them. Well, you know Mr. What I'm I understand what you're saying, uh, uh, Victor McCoy, but it occurs to me that uh, as, as uh, people uh, in this country train in the woods with uh, camouflage and guns, etc., the purpose of this training would seem to be to kill their fellow American citizens. As far as I know, this country's not being invaded. So who, who are you being armed against? Well, uh, see, that, I, have, I have a particular uh, qualms with what you just said. And it's, and it's, and it's uh, a good example of how you twist words and thoughts and meaning and phrases, okay, to, to suit your own, uh, I guess, atheist, uh, socialist, communist agenda. That is, I don't, you said kill fellow American citizens. You said nothing about perhaps wounding, okay? Perhaps shooting in the leg first as a warning, okay? And uh, I can't check every single person's citizenship before I shoot them in the leg, can I? I can't be expected to sit down, ask them to run back to their mobile home or wherever they're from, and go, hey, uh, get me some papers. I want to make sure before I shoot you in the leg. Uh, you, so that, that's an example. You said kill American citizens when I, perhaps I just want to wound illegal aliens. You didn't think about that, did you? Uh, I, I have to confess. You're not a very good, uh, not very good reporter, Mr. McMahon. Uh, no, I, well, I'm doing my best here, and and, and can I ask you a, a question? I, I don't mean to get into your personal finances, but is anyone in your family on welfare, social security, uh, Medicare? Okay, see, I, I should have known better. I really should have. I should have seen this company. Okay, because what you want to do is is I know what you're doing. You want to say, well, look who look who uh, gets a free dental checkup once a year. Okay, here's the thing. I work for Amtrak. Okay, I spent 27 years at Amtrak. Okay, and I I was let go because of an incident which looked worse than it actually was. Uh, which had something to do with uh, some magazines that were found that weren't mine, that were in my possession, but I was holding them for somebody else. I didn't know the content of the magazine, uh, it, whatever. There was a, a big to-do about it. Um, I didn't have my day in court. Uh, they demanded that I wear a suit, which I refused to do, okay? Because then, then I'd be uh, just... Uh, respecting the authority of the court, which I refuse to do. I don't sanction it. I don't uh, see it. I don't uh, uh, recognize it, okay? I don't recognize the authority of the court in the United States, okay? And I put United in quotes, and I put states in uh, parentheticals, okay? So, yeah, I know where you're going. Have I received... Uh, help or compensation for the work I did for Amtrak? Yes, I did. Do I continue to? Yes, I do. Okay? But that doesn't negate the fact that I've been out of work and I want the government to get me a job. Where's my job at? Where's all this government that they talk, you know, they're spending all this money on, uh, on all this crap Okay, making uh, marijuana legal. Okay, they're spending money on that. How come they can't spend money on me getting a job? I want a job. 